Shalom brothers and sisters and welcome to another video all praises to the Most High Yahweh in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Thank y'all for joining me man. It's been a little while but that's all right. I'm I'm here. I'm still into the, into the word and I'm doing my thing as he commands. So as y'all know I like to try to simplify things and help y'all out as best as I can and what the most high feeds to me and I try to feed that back to y'all in as simple form as I can and uh, this should help y'all with the difference between the first covenant and the second covenant in a simple way so let's just dive right into it we know that in the first covenant, the Most High wrote with his finger the Ten Commandments. And he had Moses write uh, down the statutes and, and other commandments. And uh, we had books made and then we had to practice all this stuff. And he had priesthoods and a tent that he dwelt in, you know, and eventually we built a temple for him where he can come into the temple, physical temple that we can come to and sacrifice and, and, and be, be with him, you know, and he with us. And there was a veil that separated us from him while he was in his, in his room with the mercy seat and all that sitting right there and uh there was a lot that we had to perform we had to wear fringes to remind us of the uh, of the covenant promise minus of the law such commandments we had to um talk about it while we was amongst one another and if somebody messed up in zion everybody was in trouble you know, he was like all in or, and if someone mess up, he, he, Zion going to get punished. You know, you had to put that wickedness away by killing that person or, or something like that. Or they, they got punished or their family got punished or a group of people got punished. So that was the first covenant. So let's break it down simply. The first covenant was a covenant by the Most High, work from working from the outside to the inside of us that we may perform righteousness through us. Again, the first covenant is the Most High working from the outside working to the inside, to our minds and hearts, that we may do his law, such commandments outwardly. That's the first covenant. The second covenant is the most high in you now, being placed in you through the spirit of the most high. He's in you now, automatically working outwardly all those law, such commandments. It's him working automatically through you. Y'all see the difference, the simplicity of this difference? Again, as you see here, we had a lot to read and study here. But the Levites had a lot to teach us. We had to circumcise our flesh and and there were certain commands about purity and, and you, you had a lot to remember and remind you. You had to wear fringes to remind you of all that. And you had to write stuff on your doorpost in your house. You had to have continuous Bible studies, continuous congregation meetings, continuous Sabbath days, continuous uh, sacrifice of animals. And it, it was just 
it was never ended. I mean, until you made it all habit, until you made it habit forming, and it was all automatic, and you didn't practice everything so much that it's just all automatic, but you still had to read and study still, even after that. That's the first covenant. Second covenant. You ain't got to worry about all that. Because the most I said. I'm coming in you. And we going to work this thing. Automatically together. You ain't got to remember that no more. You ain't got to teach your neighbor. You ain't got to do all that Bible study. All that meetings. You ain't got to worry about them fringes. Looking at people's fringes. And trying to remember the law. That was the purpose of the fringes. That's its purpose on your clothes was that you may remember the covenant, the covenant, the law, statutes, and commandments. That's over with, y'all. When the Messiah returned, that's the difference right there. We're like this in this in between period. As the first covenant is fading away, a new one is coming into play. And the Messiah is over this one. And right now, he sends his spirit into you. And he's helping you through the spirit to do the law of such commandments. He's helping you to perform righteousness. He's helping you to trust and the Father to automatically work through you. But when he returned, the fullness of that covenant is going to come into you and you you will have it like into your DNA. You will automatically do every, all of it. From that point forward, you won't even have to worry about Reading books and all that, like we're still doing now. We we we, we got a um. We got books online. We got apps on our cell phones. We got books at home that we have to read and study. Still, we got to commit to memory. We got to practice. We gotta we we gotta pray for help and uh. Y- y'all hear what I'm saying? Do you know how much easier the Most High is making it for us? Right now, we're, we're in Second Covenant practice mode. Until the fullness of it come when the, when the Messiah return to put an end to all of um, all of our sins. Let's see. That's in Daniel. See, is it nine? I'm looking for where, yeah, here we go. The 70 years that we had to complete, brothers and sisters. Now, the Messiah had the last week of that 70 weeks, or, uh, um, I said 70 years, but it's 70 weeks that the Messiah had to complete. Here it is. 70 weeks. Now, Zion did have 70 years in that uh, first captivity. Uh, And that's, that's talked about up here. But right here, Seventy weeks were determined upon the most highest people and upon the Kodesh city to finish the transgressions and to make an end of sins and to make reconciliation for iniquity and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision, prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. So, the Messiah had the last week and he only fulfilled half your, uh, well, well let me explain this one week is seven years one week is seven years 
And when the Messiah came, it was 79 years. 79 weeks had passed when he started his ministry at the age of 30. And so he only fulfilled three and a half years before he died. He has three and a half years left to finish. And that's what this part is talking about between here and here. This explains the desolation of Zion until the consummation. Consummation of what? The wedding of the Lamb. When he returned to gather his people and marry Zion. And, of course, you know, there's going to be Gentiles with us. And that determined shall be poured upon desolate. What was determined to be poured upon us? The curses in Deuteronomy uh, 28 and uh, Leviticus 26 and other curses. So, that's what this is about right here. It has nothing to do with no seven year treaty that Satan makes. This is the uh, one week that the Messiah came, but he was cut off in the middle of the week, the middle of the seven years. That's why it says three and a half years in different places. Like, uh, let's go forward. To Daniel 12, Daniel 12, uh, wait a minute, here it is, there shall be a 1,290 days. And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away and the abomination that make it desolate set up, there should be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. So, and that is uh, three and a half years. And it says three and a half years in other places, brothers and sisters, and y'all know where that's at. Even right here it says, And I heard the man clothed in linen, which was upon the waters of the river, when he held up his hand, right hand and his left hand unto Shemayim, and swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a time, times, and half a time. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the Kodesh people, all these things shall be finished. So, Times is one year, times is two years, three and a half years and a half. So I just wanted to throw that in there, brothers and sisters. But anyway, the simple, just remember the simplest way to remember the first and second covenant. The first is the most high working outside, inside of you, to the inside of you. That you may work all the, that righteousness outside of you. And the second covenant is he, him inside of you working automatically outward of you. It's him doing the work. It's him. Y'all see the difference? First and second covenant. Let me know in the comment section if y'all understand what I'm saying. And now y'all can go and explain this to some of your friends, some of your families, and break it down a little bit more. And I hope that I helped y'all understand the simplicity of the Most High over the years. Uh, go over my past videos and get an understanding, brothers and sisters. Is once you get past all the things that was taught to you, and you'll start seeing how simple this really is. And with that, I'm going to say shalom, peace and love, brothers and sisters.